Come on in. The door is open. Ah, there you are. Good to see you again. What brings you to the counseling office this time? Is it stress again? Did you get into a problem with a student? Oh. Personal, huh? Well, come on in and take a seat. My office is always open. I mean, well, I kinda had a problem with that policy with Trixie a little while back. <laughs> but I moved on from that. I guess I was the one that needed counseling at the time. Hey. You doing good? I can help. Look up into my eyes and talk to me. Don't be shy, it's me. Oh, that problem. I, that's gotta be hard. Love, well, crushes are always a little hard to figure out. But every pony has them, and you can usually move past them. I know that you think you're so sure of your crush right now, but will you feel the same way in a few weeks? Oh. My, I didn't know you had a crush for that long. You must really be sure of yourself, huh? Well, I suppose I can offer a little guidance here. What have you done to, uh, act on this crush? You visited them. Hmm. Well, the more often you visit some pony and it goes well, the closer you get to your crush. If you hover over them like a nearsighted Pegasus, they'll just get annoyed. And you regularly talk to them. That's also good. Not talking at all will make you seem cold and distant. And no pony wants that in their partner, now do they? And examining them from a distance with binoculars is kind of... How do I say this sensitively? An ineffective thing to do. Sorry, I'm just imagining a terribly smelly obese pony with crumbs on his doubled face demanding to observe the flesh of females. Why is it always females? Not girls or mares or fillies. They always say females and flesh and stuff. Femoids? Ugh. I mean, come on. It makes us sound like specimen of an exotic species to be hung in a museum. <laughs> We're just like every pony else. We want to have fun. We want to be swept off our hooves. Even single counselors like me. We want to be charmed, so to speak. <laughs> Not all magic comes from horns, you know. Some ponies can snag your attention right from the get-go. Well, um, how to tell if you are effective? Well, that can be simple enough. Do they brighten up when you enter the room? Or giggle at what you do and play with their hair? Do they initiate the conversation? Do they relax around you and speak in a higher, more casual tone than usual? Hmm? You paused for a second. Yes? Well, this must be more serious than I thought. Oh, uh, sorry. That was just a bit of my girly nature. Talking about secret love is a little bit exciting. I may just be a counselor, but I still enjoy this kind of stuff. Well, uh, experience. Um, that's, uh, personal, don't you think? D d don't worry, though. I I'll tell you. Back when I 
was in my town. I didn't have a crush on anyone major. Those feelings were just irrelevant to me. But as I discovered more life and love and intimacy with other ponies, I discovered that my feelings are not optional. They're vital to my identity. And those feelings include crushes on certain ponies that shall remain secret, even if they're not returned. A anyway, back to business. So you definitely want to pursue them then? Whew. That's good for you. Um, do they know about your crush on them? You're not sure. Well, let me tell you this. One-sided love cannot stay that way. Confess and soon. You won't be able to rest until you know the answer anyway. If they like you back, congrats. If not, you're still in the same place you were before. You're single, but now you know the truth. Either way, you lose nothing. Well, yeah, it is kind of my job to think of something others haven't. It's nice to know you appreciate me so much. More than I know. What do you mean by that? I can imagine quite a bit. So however you feel about me must be pretty serious, eh? Oh, I don't look so uncomfortable. It's just playing around. Relax. Wait a second. Wait just a second. I have a suspicion. Stay there. Your crush is... Me, isn't it? Oh, come on. It's written all over your face. You couldn't take your eyes off me. And I haven't shut my eyes when you came in on previous visits. You'll find out I'm very perceptive when it comes to identifying feelings. Hey, don't look so downcast. Look up, I'm not upset. No, I'm not. Honestly, I... Look. What are you so scared of? That I'll say no? Well, time to alleviate those suspicions. <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I had a crush on you too. I was always so happy when you came into my office for the details you didn't initially want to burden me with. Your baggage doesn't exist here. And neither should your fear around me. Everything will be okay. I promise. <clears throat> exactly too old either. I'm only two years older than you. Creatures of every age come here to learn about friendship. What I believe needs to be taught more, however, is something that goes beyond friendship. And speaking of which, I think I'm a perfect teacher for that. Wouldn't you say, dear? afraid to let out what's deep inside you. I know. You usually feel better if you're cuddled. Here. Make room on the sofa. Mm. This is actually quite soft. Anyway, come on and hold me. Oh my gosh. I'm being cuddled by my crush. I, I mean... 
I love the way you're doing this. You're really strong and firm. Ooh, <laughs> stroking my fur, huh? That's not gonna all work. Uh, mm, oh, I'm soft. Oh, you're the softy here. I could just nuzzle up against you and plant a kiss on your neck. You smell nice. <laughs> kind of a strange observation, but I love it. It makes me want to squeeze you even tighter, you cute little thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kind of going a bit low, aren't we? N no, it, it's fine. Just watch where you're going. Ah. Uh, who knew life could be this soft? You're so warm and cuddly. Good thing school's out for the day. The students here are pretty gossipy. What would they say when they walked in on us? All bundled together on the sofa, nuzzling into each other. Mm, that would be problematic for our careers, you think so? So, if it means getting up, what are you going to do about it? Nothing. Mm. 